morning to all. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. We are here again on Zoom as the virus continues to impact what we do as a nation and, and as a community of faith. I want to share with you now a few announcements before we get into the liturgy proper. I remind members of the vestry that our vestry meeting is tomorrow evening at 7.30. All of the materials were sent to you um, via email. Please download and have ready for our meeting tomorrow evening, 7.30 on Zoom. This is my second announcement for the annual meeting. The annual meeting will be held on January 23rd. Um, I will give more details about that um, next week. We're hoping to have it as a hybrid um, meeting. Those who still feel um, a little bit restricted by coming in person, um, but we will have the, um, the meeting. Hopefully we'll be back in worship on the 23rd, all things um, considered. I want to draw to your attention also that the monthly musical concerts which are being offered by our music director and organist will begin on February the 13th at 4 p.m. Um, your presence, your participation is certainly um, um, it's certainly required. Um, let me just add one more note. These are notes of sorrow. As we worship today, we will remember the passing of Frank Quinlan, the husband of the late Valerie Quinlan and uh, Letitia Webb Johnson, a sister of Dr. Hildine Webb. We certainly offer our deepest condolences to these families. Next week, we will be on Zoom as well. Hopefully, again, we will be able to return on the 23rd. And I will say more about that in the week to come. Our service begins now with an opening prayer. Let us pray. O thou in whom we live and move and have our being, we offer and present unto thee ourselves all that we are and have, our thoughts and our desires, our words and our deeds. We are living and continual sacrifice. We are not our own. Uh, therefore, we would glorify thee in our bodies and our spirits, which are thine uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Again, welcome to this, our celebration, our worship on this, the first Sunday after the Epiphany, the baptism of our Lord and the Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And, and blessed be his kingdom, kingdom now, now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. O cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and, and peace to, to his Lord. people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, Almighty, Almighty God, God and Father, Father, we worship you, we give, we give you thanks, you. we praise we you, praise you for your glory. Lord, Lord of Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only Son of only the, Son the Father. Father. Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God you take you away take the away sins, sins of the world. world. Have and mercy on us. Us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. Receive, Receive our prayer. prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. 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 You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, Christ. with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. In the, in the glory of God, God, the Father. Father. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Let us pray. A Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and the Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. 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 The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you. I will stay to the north, give them up. He cre who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Sebia, in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you, I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the end of the earth, everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Psalm 29, verses 1 will be read responsibly. Ascribe to the Lord, you guys. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. Voice of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord voice, powerful voice. voice, voice of the Lord, of the Lord is a is voice of splendor. splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes, he makes Lebanon, Lebanon skip like a, and, and Mount Heron like a wild ox. ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice, the voice of, the of the Lord, Lord, Lord makes the makes oak the trees right and, 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 and the ships the forest fear. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying glory. The Lord, the Lord sits in throne above the flood. the flood. The Lord, the Lord sits, sits in, in throne as king for the The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The epistle reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the, when the apostle at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet, the Spirit had not come upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
gospel? The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, Lord Christ. Christ. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water. But one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, his winnowing fork in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now, when all the people were baptized and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens opened. And the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ. I speak to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Words from parts of the third and the fifth verses of the prophet Isaiah chapter 43. I fear not for I have redeemed you. Fear not for I am with you. I've entitled this sermon this morning do not fear. Do not fear. This 43rd chapter uh, forms part of the corpus of what is called Deutero-Isaiah, which encompasses Isaiah chapters 40 through chapters 55. The words at the beginning of the chapter are a change of tone from what is echoed in the preceding verses of chapter 42 and offer those in exile hope for restoration and renewal. It seems Isaiah, using the Exodus experience as a backdrop for his words of comfort, says in verse 2, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. If you feel like you are experiencing any of these conditions or challenges, do not fear. God says, I am, I will be with you. Noteworthy is that in the New Revised Standard Version translation of the Bible, this 43rd chapter begins with the prophetic imperative, thus says the Lord. In the New International Virgin Translation, it begins with, but now. These prophetic imperatives are a reminder of God's eternal divine care for Israel as it is for us in our times of struggle and 
uncertainty. The context for the children of Israel was one of fear as a result of their exile and the conclusion in that fear is that God had given up on them because of their sinful disobedience. We too have been gripped by and continue to grapple with fear as a nation. But even more closely, us as a community of faith in the face of the rapid and unrelenting spread of the Omicron variant. Every day for this week, as I spoke with friends and colleagues, they know someone who is or has been infected with the virus. The fear of January 6, one year, uh, three days ago, has caused us to fear an overthrow of democracy in this nation. Events are being canceled left and right. Travel is being restricted every day. The truth is, we are living under this enormous cloud of fear. We are afraid. Yet, as if the one in the upper room is not listening, we hear over and over again in scripture, do not fear, do not be afraid. So the question I ask you this morning, how do we square this do not fear with our own reality? We do so with God's but now. We, as a community of faith, have closed down our worship space for about two weeks, not because of the lack of faith, but because Faith has helped us to face the reality of our fears with this pandemic, which says, if we mess with it, we will die prematurely. It is therefore the God who loved Israel so dearly, who now loves us in the same way who tells us who remain faithful, do not fear. Soon we will be able to gather again. The but now of God says that everyone who feels cheated by this pandemic will assemble from north and south, east and west in celebration only if we do what is required of us now. These little inconveniences of mask wearing, physical distancing and 
hand washing or not, whatever, but will make our return so much more sweeter and appreciated. So do not fear. Do not be afraid. This too will pass as we hold firmly to our faith in God's but now or through Christ our Lord and Redeemer. This is so because in the prophetic reading we are told these words in verse 4. You, each one of you are precious and honored in my sight. And God says, I love you. That was God's promise then to the children of Israel. And since he is the same yesterday, today, and forever, it is our promise today as well. May it be so. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Describe the meaning and the power now and for always. Amen.
us now affirm our faith by saying together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord and Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, a one being with the Father, and through him all made. What us? For, for our salvation, our salvation. He, he came, came down, down from heaven. heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, Mary and was made and man. For our, for our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He slept for death and, and was buried. On, on the third day, day he rose again. again. In, in accordance, accordance with, with the scriptures, he ascended, he ascended into heaven, heaven and, and is seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Father. He, he will come again, again in glory to, to judge the living and the, living and the dead, and, and, his, kingdom and his kingdom will have no end. <laughs> we, believe we believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the Lord, Lord the the of life. Lord. Who proceeds from, from the Father and the Son. The, the, the Father and the Son is glorified, worship and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. prophets. We believe, we believe in, one in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and apostolic Catholic church. church. We, we acknowledge, acknowledge one, baptism one baptism for the forgiveness, for the forgiveness of sins. Of sins. We look we for the resurrection, the resurrection of, the of the dead and the life of the, the, life of the world, world to come. Amen. Amen. The prayers of the people. The prayers of the people, Form 3, is found on page 387 in your Book of Common Prayer and will be read responsibly. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all, we all may be, be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified, glorified by all people. all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and the sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice, justice and peace, and peace on, the on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Iglesia Anglican de Chile. In the Diocese of New York, we pray for Michael, our presiding bishop. We pray for Andrew Allen and Mary, our bishops. We pray for Trevor, our rector. Let us silently pray for all of those who have especially requested our prayers.
We pray for the repose of the souls of Reverend Dr. Harold Lewis, Oscar winning actor Sidney Poitier, and in our own families, Frank Quinlan and my sister Letitia Webb Johnson. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. We continue to pray for all the frontline and essential workers in our parish on Staten Island and around the world. We pray for those who are suffering from any physical, mental, and or economic effects of the coronavirus pandemic. We pray for the people of Haiti and the people of Afghanistan. We pray for those who are suffering from the impacts of systemic racism and for those who are committed and working towards change, towards unity, and towards equality for all of God's peoples. We pray for Kirsten Basso and David Barr, now in the process as postulants for ordinations. We give thanks to God for the following individuals who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Ada Johnson, Jalnesia Davis, Willie Black III, and Laura Kennedy. Let us pray. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray on your servants as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their life uh, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Okay. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us now, in the act of love and the forgiveness, offer... God's peace. The peace, the Lord be with you. And, and also with you all. You. Peace, God's peace to you, my brother. Peace, everybody. Peace. 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 God loves you. As we conclude our prayers, let us now say it together as taught to us by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our Father, Amen. who, who art are in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses. trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us, and lead us not into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver, but deliver us, us from the evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and, and, the glory, and the glory forever, forever and, and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O Almighty God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto thee as our reasonable service. Hear us, we beseech thee, as we now come to thee in the name of Jesus Christ, and give us grace that we may dedicate ourselves wholly to thy service and henceforth live only to thy glory and through the same uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and upon all those who love and care for you here and in paradise this day and for always. Amen. 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 peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. 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 Peace be to God. God.